Hello fellow survivors and welcome to a video where we're going to talk about how long you can survive in the long dark. And the footage you're seeing is not from myself but from a Korean streamer called Lem H. And pay attention to a little detail that's about to pop up. Yes, that's right. You didn't see that wrong. He had survived 11,202 days on Interloper. To my knowledge, this is the world's longest survival run in history, unless I missed some, of course. So today we're going to talk about how long is it possible to survive in the long dark and what are the longest runs to ever exist in the long dark so far. Keep in mind that in December 2022, we had the Great Reset where they launched the Far Range DLC, which made all the old runs obsolete, although you can still access them if you like to, but most people are not going to do that, which means we're mostly talking about the longest runs up to that point, but they can be superseded later. So today we're going to look at a few streamers who have the longest runs that I know of, and we're going to also talk about how long is it possible to survive in the long dark. Let's get to it. So first, we're going to talk about how long it's possible to survive in the game. And the short answer is pretty straightforward. It is forever. That's right. You can, in theory at least, survive forever in the long dark, provided that a few requirements are met. Now, the creator of the long dark, uh, Raf, he has said that you are kind of meant to die in survival mode. You, it's not really designed that you are meant to live forever. But the thing is, if you know the resource mechanics of this game, you can survive forever. We can look at this in two different ways. We can look at some of the long runs that exist currently or have existed, and we can look at renewable resources. And we're going to start by looking at the renewable resources and how can that tell us something about how long you can survive. Now let's start with a bit basic example, which is my old main run. So I had a run where I survived 1000 days on Interloper. And if you look at the resources that I had left, in this run, I had quite a lot of stuff left. And this run was by no means a good run in the beginning. I started this run when I was a, I would say, mediocre player, I guess. So there's a lot of stuff I did in the beginning I wouldn't do now. But nevertheless, after a thousand days of interloper, I had a lot of saplings left. I had well over 200 matches. I had lots of cloth, uh, over a hundred pieces of cloth. And I also hadn't harvested a lot of the cloth. So it would probably be close to two or 300. And with all these resources left, and not to mention all the meat from bears and things, it should have been easy for me to survive a few more thousand days, I imagine, if I had the time to do so. So that's great. So that suggests that, yeah, you, there's enough resources to survive a really, really long time. However, these things are nevertheless finite. So let's talk about what happens when they run out. For the sake of argument, let's say you have a run and everything runs out you you lose everything you use it all up and nothing comes back now there is a mechanic in the game called beach combing where you can go to regions that have uh coastal areas and things can wash ashore there and you can pick stuff up there including things like scrap metal which you can use to make arrowheads uh, or make sewing kits and also saplings so technically it would be possible to make arrows and a bow and that sort of thing uh, forever provided you check the coastal region every now and then. Uh, this might change in the future because they're revamping this though. But nevertheless, let's for the sake of argument take beach coming out of the equation. Let's just say for the sake of argument, you ran out of everything. You have no more matches, you have no cloth, you don't have scrap metal even. There's no more arrows, there's no, uh, you know, nothing, nothing yet at all. So let's also say that your tools broke. All your to tools broke, so you can't even do fishing. Well, what happens then? Are you just dead? Uh, well, no. The thing is that there are a few renewable resources in the game. The things that respawn in the game are wood and coal, stones that you pick up and can throw, birch bark, and of course, animals. And animals are food in this game. 
So this means that if nothing else is possible, you can still hunt rabbits with stones and you can get food from them. If you are crafty, you can also hunt deer by scaring them into wolves and then you scare the wolf away using the stone. And this is an effect that normally you need a torch or a fire to, to scare away a wolf with a stone. But when a wolf is feeding, that doesn't actually work like that. You can just aim at them with a stone and they run away. So that means you can get deer as well. In addition to that, there's birch bark, and it's possible to survive on birch bark alone, an interloper. Uh, I have done it, and some other streamers have done it. I have a video about it if you'd like to see that. So this alone is enough to sustain you forever, because you have food through animals and birch bark. But, of course, you do need fire, and if you run out of matches, you can't make fire. But there is the mag lens in the game. And the mag lens does not really deteriorate in condition, which means you have it forever. It can get damaged in an animal attack, so uh, you can technically lose it, but most likely you'll always have a mag lens. So that means, if nothing else, as long as you wait for a clear day, you can still light a fire to stay warm, and you can get water, and you can cook rabbits, maybe deer, and also birch. And all of this will keep you alive. Even if all your clothing are gone and the only thing you can craft are uh, deer uh, clothing items and rabbit clothing items. And uh, that's about it because you can't really hunt wolves efficiently. So you're going around half naked, but you still can survive and stay warm indoors. So it is possible. So it's, it's tricky. It is tricky, but not impossible. So this is why... I tell you that you can survive forever because you will always, provided you have a mag lens, you'll always have access to warmth, birch bark, rabbit, and maybe deer or wolf if you want to get into a struggle. So there, there are resources for you to, to use. If your mag lens were to break and you have no way of starting a fire, then your run is doomed. You will die. You could re eat raw meat and survive if you do that right, but you will still die of dehydration. There is a streamer called the Deadpool. He has done runs without fire and it's just a matter of time before you die because you cannot create new water. So eventually you die of dehydration. But provided you have a mag lens, you can survive forever in this game with just um, rabbits, some deer and birch bark. So yeah, that's why I know you can do that. Uh, keep in mind, however, that I'm making a statement here which is that you can survive forever, which is technically not possible to be proven correctly because I'm saying that you can survive infinitely, which is an immeasurable number. Uh, so technically, I cannot be proven correct by saying this statement. Instead, you the longest run that will exist at any given time will be the longest you can survive because you can never surpass it until someone does. But I hope you understand that in principle, at least, you can survive indefinitely, even on interloper in the long dark, provided you have a mag lens and some stones and some wood. And that's pretty much it. Now, with all that being said, let's look at who has survived the longest. Now, way back in the day, there used to be a leaderboard on survival runs, but that hasn't existed for a long time. And of course, I'm going to talk about some streamers or content creators today that have survived a really long time in the long dark. But of course, there could be someone, including maybe someone who's watching this video right now, who has survived longer and I just don't know about it. So I'm only going to talk about, about those that I know of. Now, in my own run, I survived 1,052 days on Interloper, which was my longest Interloper run. There are also other streamers or content creators who have done this. For example, Chef Maria or Joey Freshwater. They have done the same also an interloper. And there are also many people who have survived 500 days or longer. For example, once and only, Rand, Alpha, 1966, and Athenan, to name a few. But the reason that they have not survived longer than 500 days and or so is not necessarily because they died, because they stopped playing the run. This is something quite a lot of people do. They aim to survive 500 days to get that achievement of surviving 500 days, the will to live. And then they stop playing because they feel it becomes a grind. But it's perfectly possible to survive longer. So today we're going to talk about two players who all had very long runs. And those three players are Lem H 
and even dark. Then we're moving on to another player called Even Dark. Even Dark is a small YouTuber who you may not have heard about, but he's highly dedicated to the long dark. If you're not familiar with him, he has several videos on various detailed aspects of the game because he keeps very meticulous logs and that sort of thing. And of relevance for this survival video is that he has survived over 10,000 days in the long dark on Interloper, making him one of only two players that I know of that has survived this long. It is possible to see his entire run on his YouTube channel if you like. Uh, he mostly plays without microphone and there's quite a lot of episodes to do it. I have not watched them all myself, uh, but it is possible to do so. He ended his run before the patch hit on day 10,002, if I remember correctly. He has uh, quite a few bases with lots of stuff. His uh, dam base is pretty impressive and it keeps a lot of uh, logs as well about his loot. I will only briefly point out that, that his runs have been criticized a little bit because some people feel he has too many resources considering how long he has survived. Uh, he does have still cloth items, like found clothing items uh, maintained and, and about a hundred or so cloth, which uh, people felt was a bit unrealistic after 10,000 days. But I can't say, say anything about it, really. I, in my opinion, I don't see any evidence of any kind of illegitimacy. As far as I can tell, it looks fine. So I consider it legitimate unless proven otherwise. In any case, he has uh, the whole run on YouTube. You can go watch it if you like. And he has survived 10,002 days before the patch hit. So that's a really long time and very impressive for sure. Then finally, we have Lem H. 4119, which I'm just going to call Lem H for short. And this is the guy we're going to talk about the most because he has, as far as I'm aware, the longest survival record in history in the long dark, which is 11,204 days on Interloper. Now, Lem H is a Korean streamer. You can find him on Twitch. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. He also has a YouTube channel, which is called something different but you can see his entire run there. Now, Lem H has about 4,000 hours in the long dark and about 3,000 of those hours was spent on his main run. I spoke to him and he told me that the run started in January 2020, which is roughly the same time I started my main run that lasted for a thousand days. So there's quite a bit of difference in progression there. <laughs> He initially aimed to get only 2,000 days and he admits that he was quite lucky to survive this long. There were at least five times where he was really close to dying, but he barely survived. But he made it. And to my knowledge, no one has survived longer than this. Now, Lem H, he streamed most of his run. Uh, so he did all of this live. So if you do want to watch the entire run from day 1 to 11,000, you can. He does have a YouTube and the videos, as far as I can tell, are all uploaded there. Keep in mind that he streams in Korean and we are talking about 3000 hours of footage here. <laughs> so get your coffee ready. That being said, though, I would recommend having a look at his final stream before the DLC came out, which I can also link in the description below, because in his final stream, he goes over pretty much all of Great Bear Island he visits all of his bases and you get to see his setup and all of the glorious food loot and stuff that he still has. So you get to see a lot of what he's accumulated. He also uh, goes around hunting a lot of bears and he's really good at it. In fact, in one case, he is so badass that he turns his back to a bear and the bear dies. If you're wondering what happens there, um, Lem H uses a unique exploit that not a lot of people use, which is that he lets the bear bleed out by a campfire. Here you can see it happening. The way this works, if you're wondering, is that bears will not attack you if you buy a campfire, as long as you're close to the campfire. So what you can do is you can harm the bear before he reaches the campfire past time and then the bear will just stop and then bleed out in front of you, making it very easy to find the bear because it will always be there. 
Uh, this is an exploit, which of course by itself is no problem. We all use exploits to various degree. I mean, think of goating down uh, a mountain or resetting your T's or something like that. Uh, but this is an exploit that Hintlin is aware of, so probably it's not going to be in the game forever. But he also kills you know, animals in the usual way. Um, it, so this last run that he had, it is quite a good watch. It's seven hours long or so. Uh, he's, it's in Korean, but it's pretty straightforward to watch and quite fun to do. Uh, and you can watch his entire run on YouTube as far as I know, but I haven't watched it myself, so just so you know that. And now you might wonder, well, how does someone survive for that long, for 11,000 days? Not just in terms of can you survive that long, but how do you keep going? Well, I asked LM H about this, and he said that his main strategy is just to rotate around the world, killing bears and moose. So he accumulates a lot of bear and moose meat. So he just does this. This is his goal. He goes to, uh, to somewhere and kills the bear and harvests all that stuff. Then he moves on to the next region, and then he rinses and repeats. So this is his main goal. He just keeps going and killing bears and moose. And as a result, he has become quite the Terminator in that regard. He killed, uh, at the end of his run, he had killed over 400 moose and close to 3,600 bears. Yes, that is a lot <laughs> of kills. Surprisingly, he has only killed 75 wolves because he appears to mostly avoid the wolves and he's only killed 8 deer. Compare this to my run where I killed 500 wolves by day 1,000. The reason the deer ki kill count is so low is because he saves resources by having wolves kill the deer. This is something that's called a thief tactic. You get the wolf to kill the deer for you and then you scare the wolf away. You can see him do it here as an example. And the good thing about this tactic is that it doesn't cost any resources because you don't have to use the arrow. You just have to get the wolf to kill the deer and then you harvest the deer. And that works out pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, this is a long run. As far as I could tell, the last uh, stream he did, he survived 11,204 days. And then the patch hit and his run became obsolete. So unless he returns to it, that is the longest run in history. And... He might beat it again, or maybe someone else will. But 11,000 days, that's a really long time. Now, before we wrap this up, remember that there are other tips you can use to survive very long. You might remember that I had a video called Expert Survivors and Tips, where they gave all sorts of tips on how to survive for a long time in the long dark. And I asked Lem H what his strategy was. And he said that the main thing is to just plan ahead. Try to be as efficient as possible and, you know, be prepared for things. His only plan for this run was straight up, just don't die. And yeah, he managed to do that quite well. <laughs> okay, survivors. Now, with that all being said, I hope you understand that you don't have to have a goal to survive this long in the long dark. As I always say, the way to play the long dark is how you enjoy playing the long dark. Some people start new runs survive 50 days and then they do it again and so on. Some people play Pilgrim, some people play Stalker, some people play Interloper and some do custom challenges to make it harder. You should play the game however you want. But if you do decide to go in for the long haul, whether that is on Interloper or on Pilgrim, I can tell you that you can survive pretty much indefinitely and even if you can't survive forever, there are people who have survived 10,000 days or longer, so it's certainly possible to survive a really, really long time in the long dark you just got to have the patience to do it. I would recommend that if you do survive this long, you need to set goals for yourself. Try to make things more fun in the game for you. You know, create a perfect map, find all the cairns, um, decorate a base or something like that. You know, try to find stuff out, explore and make it fun for yourself so that you do something beyond just surviving. Otherwise, it can be a grind. But of course, you play it however you want to do. So with all that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.